Good morning, this is Ryan of Midnight Solar and today we're going to show you how to set a pre-programmed wind curve into the Classic uh, for operation. If, if you have a wind turbine that we've already got the wind curve programmed in for. Um, if you don't see your wind curve here and you need to edit one, look for the video labeled Programming a Custom Wind Curve into your Classic. Showing you the display of the classic, and uh, the arrow is showing the main menu button. You'll need to click that main menu button repeatedly until wizard is highlighted. And then you'll need to click the right arrow button to scroll over until mode is highlighted and press the enter button that's shown here with this arrow. Now we're in the function, and uh, this may be set for wind track already if you did the factory restore or an, on initial power up if you set this. If not, uh, use the right arrow on this screen to go over to the function and use the up and down arrow to locate wind track. Once you've located wind track, you'll notice it says graph down in the bottom right corner. Use the upper right button or the soft key, and that will take you to the wind graph. Now we're in the graph section of the wind portion of the classics programming. Here we need to press the memory button as shown by the arrow. Now we need to use the up and down arrows to scroll through the presets and find the particular one that we're looking for. In this case we were looking for the John 1 17 foot 48 volt battery. And once you found this, click the upper right soft key labeled recall, the upper right most button, and that will actually pull the curve out of the displays memory and put it into the classics memory. As you see here, this is what it'll look like after you press the recall button. On this screen we need to press the enter button to save the curve to the classic. And now what we've done is we've pressed the main menu button once to bring us back to the mode screen uh, where we set the function. And this should be set for on underneath on and off. If this is not set for on, use the up or down arrow to set it to on if off is highlighted. If off is not highlighted, use the left or right arrow to scroll to the word off and highlight it. And then use the up and down arrow to switch it to on. After you've switched it to on, you'll need to press enter and you'll see data sent and saved on the screen. Again, as you see, data sent and saved to the controller. Anytime we make a change to the classics programming, we need to make sure we press the enter button and see the data sent and saved to the controller. Now pressing the status button, bottom left hand button will bring you back to the main screen and you are ready to turn the turbine on. This is Ben, programming a preset wind power curve into the classic charge controller. Until next time, this is Ryan Stankovitz with Midnight Solar.